sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. All right, first pie guy here. I'm going to show you how to transmit and receive signals using these uh, little uh, modules here. Now you can get these for 433 megahertz or 315 megahertz. So they're not very hard to hook up. Pretty simple. You got three wires here, three wires on this one. This is your receive. This is your transmit. We're going to power both of these uh, five volts, then obviously grounds on each. Then you have a data uh, pin on each one. So if we flip these over, as you can see, well, this one's on this side. Now, yours may be different. They make all different models of these, but uh, it's pretty much the same concept. So, we're going to hook them up here, your 5 volts and grounds. Then, the most important thing is your uh, what GPIO pin you're using for the receive and transmit, and not to get them uh, mixed up. So for the receive, I'm using GPIO 27 and GPIO 17 for the transmit. So I'll have a little drawing on my website for this to kind of lay it out a little bit. But that's pretty much how you uh, set it up. So we're going to use a program called uh, RPIRF to receive and send the signals. And... Uh, for this video, I'm just going to use one of them simple little uh, controllers here to turn on and off receptacles that you can hook up for like Christmas lights, whatnot. So let's switch over to the computer and we'll uh, show you how to install that and use it. All right, so now that we're back here on the computer and I'm SSH'd into the Pi, we need to make sure we have python-pib installed in order to make this work. So, let's go ahead and install. If it's not already installed, once that's done, we need to install the uh, RF software and I'll throw a link in the description to my website for this information and how to do it all right so it's already installed so to receive the signal that we want to transmit from our little white remote we need to do the following here Then we can uh, get it done. So the dash G is going to be for the GPIO pin that your receive is hooked up on. And I forgot to add the underscore. There we go. All right, so now it's receiving using GPIO 27, which is what our receive module is hooked up to. So let me click this a couple times. All right, so now we can just do a control C and stop it. So what we have here is 275 protocols one, and we have this number here. So since we have 275 more than anything else, that's what we're going to use. So we can go back up and use the same command here and just change it a little bit. And we're using GPIO 17-P for the pulse length of 275-T for protocol space 
and then we're going to put in this big number right here now yours might only be a shorter number it might only be one number but we're going to put in what it is then we're going to click enter so now it just sent that it just transmitted that signal back out and uh, as you can see here repeat 10 protocol 1 pulse length 75 the length is default so that's pretty simple straight and forward on how to uh, send and receive using your uh, 433 or 315 modules so thanks for watching stay tuned for another one <laughs>